Uh, I thought I'd do a little quick vid on cupping on propellers and what I like to do with them. Like this prop here, for instance, is a Forge V2. It's roughly 18 pitch. And when I was running that on the tinny, the revs were pretty good. Everything was pretty good, but it was just slipping and losing a lot of speed. So I got yarn down at Pro Propeller Repairs Australia to cup it for me. And um, yeah, just a bit of cupping on the edge of the blade. It's amazing the difference it makes. Just that much cupping picked up like, oh, I think it was about seven or eight Ks an hour. Because I run this prop pretty high. And the higher I can run it, the more speed I get. And with that little bit of extra cupping, it just gave me the extra bite I needed to run it at the height I wanted. And um, yeah, so roughly when I've got a prop and it's doing the right RPMs I want and giving me sort of the speed I want, I um, just go for the little edge bit of cup along the edge tip of the blade and that generally knocks back, I don't know, 100 or so RPM. But the extra grip it gives you is, is excellent. Um, with this little aloe prop, this is the one I cupped up myself on the table with a pinch bar on the weekend. She's pretty wild, but you've seen in the video the difference it makes. Like with this one, I've put like a, a lot broader cup on it. Cupping like that actually increases the pitch of the prop. Like this is, I think, 15 pitch. And when I'm in the tinny by myself, it's just way too small. So that's why I just put like a, a bit of a wider cup on it. Knocks the RPMs back. It's, Gives you better grip and um, yeah, gives you gives you a bit that extra speed from the extra pitch in it. Like like because this thing was going to over rev, I cupped it so it'd have a bit extra pitch in it as well, knock the RPMs back a bit. And yeah, plus you get the extra benefit of the extra bite, like with the water exit in the back of the blade. But this was when it was standard; it was pretty much flat. There was just nothing there. But now you can see like I've, I've rolled a fair sort of edge on that. And um, yeah, made a hell of a difference. I think it was doing like 48 Ks or something standard. And then just by knocking that cup on it, it gripped up and went out to 76. But that's at a pretty extreme engine height. Like with the average tinny, you know, you don't want to be belting on that much cup. You want to be going something similar to this, something that's not too aggressive. I did a bit of a diagram anyhow. But um, yeah, this is how I sort of cut my props. Or used to get yarn to cup them when I wanted a bit more pitch. You know, if they were doing the correct RPMs or somewhere near what I wanted, I used to just get him to do a little tip cup on the edge of the blades. But yeah, when I used to run the Thundercat and getting in the surf, I used to put like a, a pretty aggressive cup on the tip of the blades. I like to hook them up in all the sloppy white water and chop. But there is a point like once you start getting too hard on that edge, or you know. You start to lose performance it just works against itself and like even with pitching you can pitch them up too much and it works against itself as well like a lot of the old powertech stainless props i think they started as like a, a 14.25 generic pitch and they used to just pitch them up to 16s and 17s and take a bit of pitch out of them like they just had the one prop design and then they'd just roll it into the blades to get the extra the pitch similar to this and they'd just take it out to get the pitch out of it but yeah that's how I get my props done. Like with the cleavers, I usually, yeah, the cupping on them is usually pretty good straight out of the box. I very rarely, I don't think I've ever fiddled with the cup on a cleaver. I just sort of get the blades thinned or take a bit of meat out on the Legion head to get a few more revs out of it. But yeah, but yeah, that, I hope that gives you a bit better of an idea. Like for your tinnies and stuff, you just want to stick around this, like just roll a little bit on and see how it goes. And um, yeah, if it's still ventilating a bit, like, roll a bit more on but yeah I, I wouldn't really go past the point of that like yeah once you start getting past that on this alloy prop that's when you'll start working against yourself but yeah usually a little cup like that will just oh it's chalk and cheese the difference it'll make for you but yeah anyhow that's how i do it thanks